Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel. And today I'm speaking with Darcy Taylor, the CEO of Leaf Mobile. The ticker symbol is L-E-A-F on the Toronto Stock Exchange. How are you doing today, Darcy? Very good. And yourself? I'm doing well. For investors who may not know your company, can you give a quick overview of it? Yeah, uh, Leaf Mobile is a gaming powerhouse uh, originated in Canada. And we are, I'll say, genre leading uh, developers uh, in the casual idle space of free-to-play mobile games. Uh, we're the, the leader, the biggest in Canada, and continuing to uh, expand our uh, network of studios. So when you say free-to-play then, how do you make money? Yeah, so our business is uh, driven sort of through three uh, major growth pillars. The first is our organic growth or games development and publishing. Uh, where we launch games on iOS or the App Store, and we generate revenue through in-app purchases uh, in the game or ad revenue, uh, where uh, players uh, utilize either one of these pathways to improve their gameplay or level up uh, uh, within, uh, within their uh, t- time in game. Interesting. So uh, I looked at the analyst ranking, and, and they said that this year you may hit $100 million of revenue. Uh, growing to perhaps 200 million uh, by next year. How, how do you see that revenue growth uh, from your different business lines? Yeah, so as, as I stated earlier, we, we have three pillars. So we, we believe that we'll have in our organic, organic growth or our development and publishing side, uh, a major step change as far as games developed. Our portfolio right now is 10 games. Uh, those games over the last 12 months have delivered uh, $94 million, and we will double our portfolio by the end of this year. And adding on top of that, we have the most games in development we ever, uh, we ever have to date. We have 17 that will launch in the next four to 14 months. And we believe that these games will do uh, as well, if not better, uh, than our current portfolios leading to that uh, sort of uh, aggressive growth that the analysts are, are, are seeing. On top of that, we have um, a second pillar, which is our game kit uh, or idle kit, as we refer to it as, which we license to professional development studios on a SaaS based model. But we also participate on the gross economics of the upsides of the games launched on it in perpetuity. So we see those two being um, massive drivers of our our future growth, um, as well as continuing uh, opportunities for M&A in the space of which we've been uh, quite uh, acquisitive to, to date. So in that, uh, just looking at your idle kit, your development kit that you license out, that's a a higher margin way of making revenue um, because you're actually not taking the risk of hiring employees, uh, but you get the benefit of the game upside. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, We we liken it to a a margin um, sweetener or accelerator. And as you stated, we like to say it allows us to grow without growing. Our cost base or our overhead stays uh, uh, very consistent while we distribute the development and growth across uh, a multi-studio network, but still participate uh, in that game, uh, game success. Now, even though you're a Canadian company, you've been linked with some you know, major U.S. celebrities television shows. What are the two ones that you think uh, investors might be keen to uh, you know, play when these games come out? Yeah, we've we've had very strong relationships with the major studios uh, uh, south of the border. Um, The two ones that uh, I think are gathering the most excitement uh, from investors uh, as well as players is uh, firstly, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race Superstar uh, with WoW Productions. I mean, uh, RuPaul is probably the most recognizable icon uh, in the LGBTQ plus space. Uh, their show just won um, over uh, multiple enemies uh, a, a couple nights on the Emmy Awards. And this, this show is a global phenomenon. It is in seven uh, countries worldwide, massive following um, on TV as well as uh, social. So we think this is going to create the category uh, in the free-to-play mobile space uh, to, to basically uh, serve that LGBTQ um, uh, uh, player or, or, or space. 
On top of that, we announced with NBC Universal uh, the launching of the Office uh, game um, that will come out on the back half of this year. You know, massive uh, IP property, globally renowned or uh, no one um, uh, TV show. Uh, I believe it's the Netflix stated it was the most uh, downloaded uh, show per minutes uh, of all shows in 2020. Uh, so, you know, tremendous following by, uh, uh, for, for fans. So we think these two mega uh, IPs are going to be a, a major step change in our, uh, our, our game scale uh, versus our, our current uh, portfolio of, of, I'll say, strong regional or North American uh, IP. Yeah, interesting. And as an analyst, uh, I'm looking at the valuation of your company, uh, you know, taking a look at sort of the, the last 12 months, you're, you're sort of trading around, you know, two and a half times enterprise value to revenue or, you know, sub 20 times uh, enterprise value to your EBITDA, which is, is quite conservative in comparison to some, uh, you know, U.S. Uh, players in the market space. Um, do you see yourself um, undervalued, the, the smaller Canadian company, and, and with this you know, potential of a 100% revenue growth, something that investors sh should be should be eyeing. Yeah, I think I think there's definitely a bit of a Canadian discount uh, on our uh, valuation or business, and I also think that shareholders or uh, potential investors um, are starting to understand uh, the depth of our pipeline and the strength of our IP that we're bringing uh, uh, to market. But more importantly, they're understanding that our company is not sort of a, a pure play publisher developer. We're a, a mashup of a publisher developer or a studio consolidator with a gaming tech platform, uh, sort of similar to uh, what you see with Unity or, or, or App Loving. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, when that sort of shoe drops and people see that these two pieces complement each other uh, for our business portfolio or our business uh, model. And they see the valuations of other uh, uh, companies in this space. Uh, we, we, we should see a, a, a re-rating or a recognition uh, of, of those two elements and have it be reflected uh, in, our, in our stock price. Yeah, I think that's interesting. And it's, I think uh, with your current portfolio that uh, is, is gonna double, I think it's uh, worthwhile to watch as uh, both an investor and an analyst, uh, it's now on my radar watch. So uh, uh, thank you for your time today. Uh, I was speaking with uh, Darcy Taylor, who is the CEO of Leaf Mobile, ticker L-E-A-F on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Thank you very much.